Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Alright, so I've definitely been meaning to film this type of video for a while. Um, I just haven't got around to it. And it's kind of weird because I have all these videos on like my piercings, but I don't have a single video on how, like, how to clean them. Now, this is going to be my dimple cleaning video. Um, but let me just say, I am not going to film a video on how to clean my nose, my lip, my tongue, or my tragus, or my belly button. Um, just because I kind of feel like those are pretty standard piercings and they don't really require like a certain... Like special cleaning routine if that makes sense um but i will say that my dimples definitely 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 required a different type of cleaning method um just more special care i guess and i'm going to film one on how i clean my nipples as well um so i don't know which video i'm putting i'm gonna put up first um but just keep an eye out for that all right i'm just gonna get into it because i feel like i'm rambling i'm probably not making any sort of sense life always Alright, so I don't remember how long I did this. Maybe I did this for the first month or two. Um, I was just doing a sea salt soak on my dimples. Um, now, how I would do that, and this also works with like a shot glass, uh, but I didn't have any shot glasses. I only had water bottles. Now, I took two water bottles, not this specific water bottle. Uh, this is a random one I had in my fridge just to kind of show you guys to get an idea. Okay, so I took two water bottles, I made sure they were clean, and then I marked on the lid which dimple went with which water bottle. That way I wasn't, like, contaminating the water bottle with a potential infection from this one, and then it would spread to this one, if that makes any sense. Now, what I did was I mixed my sea salt solution in a measuring cup, and I believe my sea salt solution was a cup of water, and I want to say like a fourth teaspoon or something, maybe more um, of sea salt because you don't want your sea salt solution to be too salty um that's what she said but um, you don't want it to be too salty because it can really dry out your piercing and not in a good way it'll just turn really bad and so you don't want that so you really want like a diluted sea salt solution um now so okay after i mixed my solution i poured half of that solution in one of my water bottles i took the other half of the solution poured it into my other water bottle did i say that right water bottle I'm talking too fast. All right, sorry guys. Um, okay, and so I would put the lid on one and then I would go lay on the couch and it's best if you have paper towels with you um, because sometimes when you're doing this, you get like water all over your face. Not fun. Um, so what I would do is I would go like this and then I would put the water bottle up to whichever dimple was aligned with the water bottle, that makes sense. Um, and I would just put it and then I would lay on my side on the couch like this and I would do that for I want to say like six to ten minutes I would have a timer on my phone going and then once that was done I would dry it off with a paper towel and then repeat on the other side for six to ten minutes and that's what I did for a while um, but when I was in the shower I would do just wash them with an antibacterial hand soap this is the one I use um, and some people are against doing this Others are not. Um, it works for me, but it may not work for you. Um, but yeah, so I just used antibacterial hand soap. And the one that I use doesn't have a scent to it. It's plain, which is what you want. It's like the same thing with tattoos. You don't want your soap to have fragrance to it because it's just not going to do any good. It's just going to do harm. Um, so that's what I did for that. Now, if you watched, don't remember which update video it was, um, I mentioned how... I think it was this one got really gross and was like leaking fluid and it was just gross and disgusting and I mentioned how my piercer told me to do a chamomile tea soak. Now I used this one for that and I really like this brand Bigelow. Uh, not because it sounds like gigolo but because it's their teas are like natural they don't have like a bunch of like stuff added to it like the ingredients on this is just chamomile flowers. That's it. It's not a bunch of other stuff. Um, so I really like that. I have a bunch of their teas. But this one is the one I used. And what I did for that was I got a cup of water, a hot water. You don't want it boiling, though, because you don't want to burn yourself. Um, and you just want to dip the tea bag in there. Kind of let it set for a minute or two. And then put the tea bag directly on your face. Now, you can kind of squeeze out some of the water because it'll make a mess. Um, but you don't want it too dry because you want, you want that water to go in there. But you don't want to take the water from the cup and put it directly on without the tea bag um, because the stuff that's inside the tea bag is really what's going to work best. If that makes any sort of sense. Hopefully, I'm explaining that well. I'm horrible at explaining stuff. 
Um, but yeah, so that's what I did, and I probably only did this like a few times, and it just, that piercing, as I mentioned in whatever update video, it was just miraculously fine and great, and I haven't had trouble with it since, knock on wood. Um, Alright, so I think that's it for my dimple piercing um, video. I have to say real quick, now I never use this on my dimple, uh, my dimples, but I would highly recommend it. My piercer and I kind of swear by this stuff, and if I don't drop it, it's this stuff. Um, and it's obviously a piercing care solution um, from Studex. And um, my piercer actually gave this to me when I got my nipples pierced um, to use on it, but that's for my nipple my nipple piercing video, cleaning video, whatever. Um, so I would say that you could probably use this on your dimples if you want to. Um, people use the like H2 Ocean Spray, but I've heard so many mixed things about that. Um, some people are like, well, we don't really know what's in the solution of it. So I'd rather just make a sea salt solution myself so I know what's in it. Um, but I think that's it. Hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, just let me know. Sorry if I am horrible at explaining shit. Um, but yeah, so I think that's it. I will see you in the next video.